Hey, what's up, everyone? Scary Chain Jumps here, back with Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we decided to catch our, or, well, not catch Arceus, but do the Arceus event. And while we were doing the Arceus event, we got a Giratina, and we also caught Mewtwo. The, in my opinion, two of the best Pokemon ever created. But um, in this episode, we are going to do some rival stuff. Obviously, as you see, the title is uh, the rival. Noah stuff <laughs> but yeah um, we're actually gonna do two things with the rivals so first thing you're gonna want to do is go down to Blackthorn City and go to the Dragon's Den because if you remember after we versed him in Mount Moon he said he was going to go um, try to verse Lance I think he said in the Dragon's Den or something like that but um, you have to go into the Dragon's Den and find him and all you have to do is come down straight from the ladder and just come straight down over here and you're just gonna meet him over here what are you trying to- are, are you here to make fun of my training? Huh. I- I took my time coming all the way here, but my master- but the master won't tell me anything, and he's making a big deal out of it, so I decided to train my Pokemon here instead. Ah, uh, alright, so here comes Lance and Claire, the two Dragon-type masters. Hi, Carlos, and you? We met at the Team Rocket hideout. You! Where have you been all this time? Prepare to lose to me this time, I'll challenge you. Calm down, I was a bit- in a hurry then. Sorry for that, but I always welcome challengers. Hey, how about a double battle? Hmm. <laughs> you can't beat me one-on-one, -on -one, can you? Come on, a double battle is really not bad. Carlos, you'll be on my side. Well then, you over there, will you be? Will you team up with me? You must be kidding. That's embarrassing. One, one, uh, one in the weird costume for me. No way, I can, I can't, I can battle with her. Carlos, come come to my side and we can defeat Lance together. And then he just wants to have a battle with Lance. I'm telling you right here, his team is going to get crushed. Oh yeah, I haven't told you guys yet. Huh? Let me actually do that right now. Um, but I leveled up all my Pokemon between level 65 and 68. I did it all day yesterday in Mount Silver. I basically just walked straight through Mount Silver and just went over Pels and just like trained one Pokemon at a time. And it was pretty easy. I'm not going to lie. It did take. It was easy, but it took a while, you know. Took a lot of training. Only reason I raised them up uh, this high was because, uh, well, sorry if you guys saw that. That was some freaking iTunes thing that popped up. But um, it did take a while, and I taught um, Icebreaker. Let me go to some uh, no, check moves. I taught Icebreaker, uh, Dragon Pulse, and rid of uh, Hydro Point because I I thought having three Water type moves was stupid. Even though I could have got rid of Waterfall and just um had or kept Hydro Pump, I decided not to just because. Um, I'd rather have Surf and Waterfall than something that has the possibility of missing a lot. And plus, I already have Ice Beam and Dragon Pulse, so you know, it's even better. Um, Razor, I don't think I taught Razor anything. No, he was trying to learn Solar Beam, but I decided not to because Frenzy Plan is better. Um, I think I taught- yeah, I got rid of Slash or Shadow Claw on Quicksand. Um, Ace, I don't think I changed your moveset. No, I didn't. Um, Electro, I went back into, uh, Cerulean's Cave. Found Thunderbolt, taught, uh, got rid of Discharge for Thunderbolt, and he also learned Gyro Ball while leveling up. And Chuck, he learned Mega Horn finally at level 55, and I got rid of uh, Reversal for that. So now, our team is pretty boss. I don't think a lot of Pokemon are going to be able to get through it. So let's just Ice Beam this Dragonair and get started with this battle. Um, I'm just going to tell you this now. Towards the end of the battle, you're just going to be versing um, the uh, Lance and Claire by yourself just because... They only go after his Pokemon at first, and it's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty funny. Just because his Pokemon just die in one hit, like it's nothing. I'm going after Claire's Pokemon first because she has, um, just because she has lower level Pokemon, and it doesn't seem that Gyarados wants to come after me yet, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Oh, I used Geon on you, faggot. Alright, uh, let's use Ice Beam on Gyarados. We might not do that much. Yeah, I thought so. Now we're asleep, aren't we? Yep. So let's just use a full heal. No, no. Wait, Petra Berries. Those are for poison. Wait, are they? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, so... Full heal. Give her that. And then, you're dead. Oh, wow, his Crobat actually did something. But usually his Pokemon are, like, gone. Like, this is his, this is his last Pokemon, so... Usually they're just gone by the end of it, like, right here, as you see. Now, I'm gonna try to get rid of this Gyarados... Or, I said Gyarados, Charizard. And, um, it's not like we've beaten Lance before. Now, that's a freaking high-ass level Dragon Knight. Freaking level 75. That's crazy. But, like, I feel like the Elite Four won't be too hard for us. Uh, just because how level high level my Pokemon were. I know they're, like, low 50s. But I raise them up to the high 60s, and I feel pretty proud of myself. So, just as I expected, 
you two make quite a team. Going solo is certainly one way to aim for the top, but that's not all there is to Pokemon battles. Although, I don't feel it's necessary to remind you guys. See you, Carlos, another time. Uh, I'll see you next episode, or, well, not next episode, probably two episodes later, because that's when we're going to be versing the champion once again, because obviously, after this episode, I'm going to fight the Leap 4 again, and then he just says um, a bunch of other stuff, and then he leaves. So, I'm just going to speed my way out of here, and we're going to go back to the Indogo Plateau to meet up with somebody again. So, oh, if we can just leave this... Freaking, I hate, I hate when ladders and stuff are like, like that, it's like, you're just trying to rush and then you accidentally go back down it, but, you know, whatever. Let's just fly over to, I did not mean to do that, um, let's fly over to the Indigo Plateau, and let's see what we have to do here, um, I'm actually gonna heal up my Pokemon real quick, and I'm gonna switch, um, what's his name out front, uh, Chuck, so, let's just do that, and then, because Chuck, Chuck and Ace are uh, pretty low-leveled. Or not pretty low-leveled, but they're lower level than all my other Pokemon. But um, if we just walk straight up here, you're going to have a rival battle with Noah. Now, I'm definitely not going to speed this up because I'm only six minutes in. What the heck? But yeah, you're going to take the Pokemon League Championship. Uh, you'll have to give up on that. My well-trained beyond recognition and stuff and stuff. And he said, I'll challenge you. Now, this is the last rival battle you can have. Or actually, it's not the last, but you can. I think you can burst them every Tuesdays and Thursdays, or Tuesdays and Saturdays. I I, I don't know if it's at the Indigo Plateau or somewhere. I, I don't know. I have to check on that because I'm definitely gonna have I think two or one or two bonus episodes um, after the Let's Play. So you know, I'll, I'll just tell you guys in the bonus episodes. But right here, I'm just gonna close combat the Sneasel. Sneasel is level 55. Its ability is Inner Focus, and its move set is Shadow Claw, Bane Attack, Icy Wind, and Metal Claw. And obviously, it's gonna be gone. I mean, we're 10 levels higher than it, and four times effective. No, there's no way that Sneasel would have got out of that, but <clears throat> let's just continue on with this. i um, going to bring out Crobat, so I will bring out... I don't have any Psychic type moves, so let's go with Icebreaker. His Crobat is level 58, its um, ability is Inner Focus, and its moveset is Air Cutter, Bite, Confuse Ray, and Toxic. So, hopefully we can get off a quick Ice Beam and hope to kill it. Aw, Confuse Ray, how much I hate you. I hate Confuse Ray. Like, a lot of people use Confuse Ray, but like me, I feel like it's just a waste of a turn because whenever I confuse other people, it never works for me. Like, they always just attack. Like, they never get confused. It's stupid. But, I'm not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna Ice Beam this Crobat and hopefully get it rid of it in one hand. I mean, Icebreaker, the only reason I've raised up uh, Icebreaker to the highest level is because Icebreaker is definitely gonna be the most helpful for the, um, for the champion. Uh, so, uh, Magneton is coming out now, I might as well bring out, um, Quicksand, uh, Magneton is level 55 ability, Magnet Pool, and its moveset is Discharge, Magnet Bomb, Mare Shot, and Thunder Wave, um, so yeah, uh, I'm just gonna Earthquake this, uh, stupid Magneton, I mean, this episode shouldn't be too long, I mean, we are really higher level than all of his Pokemon, so it shouldn't take too long at all, you know. So this episode would probably be around 11 minutes, pretty short, you know. But I don't really care. I just really needed to get these two things done uh, so I can continue on with the game. But uh, he's gonna come out with Alakazam. I'm gonna bring out Ace. Alakazam is level 56 ability, synchronized, and Muset, um Psychic, Reflect, Focus Blast, and Recover. So I'm going to just keep um, assurancing it. I really do wish I had Dark Pulse as a TM because Dark Pulse would help out so much. It's so much better than Insurance. I just love the uh, Dark Pulse. It, I'd probably put it on, uh, I know, I'm pretty sure that um, Quicksand would be able to learn it, but I don't think it would be too helpful just because, you know, um, just because the, because his attack is better than his special attack. Now if you saw there, you saw the little boom boom, like he was like getting healed up or something, but that was the Quick Claw activating, so it's a good thing that Quick Claw activated. I did put some items on that, on the Pokemon, I'll show that after this. But he's coming out with his, um, he's coming out with his Typhlosion, level 60, ability Blaze, Moveset Flamethrower, Rollout, Will-O-Wisp, and Swift. So I'm gonna go out with Icebreaker. Wow, my Pokemon are just not getting touched whatsoever. Whoa, this is crazy. I'm just like sweeping their team. I have to check right here. Is um, Icebreaker more of a special attacker or attacker? Um, let's see. He is a attacker, so I'm gonna use Waterfall. 
just because I, I'm gonna try. Aw, I was gonna try to go through this whole entire match without getting hit, but it looks like his Typhlosion is faster than me. Oh well, doesn't really matter. But we're just gonna use Waterfall here, hope to take out his Typhlosion. Typhlosion has never really been good. I mean, shouldn't his Typhlosion know um, Eruption by now? Whoa, that's all he did to it. Let's try. Let's try Surf. I, I want to see what it does, because. Even though I'm an attacker, I don't know how good Typhlosion's defense is. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully Surf would probably do a lot more. I don't know. Probably will. Yep, Surf always does a lot more for some reason. Even though, it, even though I'm an attacker, Surf does a lot more. But I, I guess the special defense isn't that good. Whatever. Um, now he's gonna come out with his last Pokemon, I think. Has he came out with? Yeah, he's coming out with his last Pokemon. Um, Gengar. Gengar is Ghost Poison, um, Ability Levitate, and its move set is Dark Pulse, Confuse Ray, Shadow Ball, and Sludge Bomb. So, uh, I think I'm gonna come out with Ace and or no, no, you know what? I'm just gonna come out with Razor just because I think Razor was the only one who didn't get some action in this um thing, and I think I'm just gonna Frenzy Point and get rid of it pretty fast. You know, Gengar isn't too hard to get rid of, so you know, might as well just Frenzy Plant, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be gone after this Gengar. I'm sorry. Gengar, oh, I really like Gengar, if you noticed, um, those two episodes that I was doing stuff, oh my god, I forgot it was poison, even though I just said it was poison, wow, you guys are probably screaming at me like I'm a retard or something, but whatever, I don't really care, um, I'm gonna have to freaking rest this turn, you see, so the thing is with Solar Beam, it basically, it's the same thing as, um, Frenzy Plant, you basically have to charge up one turn and then, uh, you get to shoot, but if somebody uses Sunny Day, then you just get to shoot, I don't think you have to recharge, yeah, you don't have to recharge, that's Hyper Beam. But, um, you basically take one turn to absorb, uh, energy, and then the second turn you release it, and with Frenzy Plant, you do Frenzy Plant, and then the next turn you have to rest. So, but Frenzy Plant does, does have way more attack than, um, than Solar Beam, and it has more accuracy, so obviously I'm gonna go with the Frenzy Plant. But, um, I think... Ah, damn. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go out with Ace. Alright, sorry for the speed up there. Didn't mean to do that. Shadow Ball doesn't affect me, bro. I'm assurance you. And I hope that you are gone. Yup, you is gone. Um, if you guys know where to find TM, uh, whatever it is, uh, Dark Pulse, I don't know if it's in this game, but, um, if you guys do know, uh, please comment down below and tell me, just so I can go get that before I burst the Elite Four. And... Oh no, I still can't win after all this, all that training. I... I had I have to believe more in my Pokemon. No big deal. Sorry to sorry I have to get in your way. Uh, don't forget uh, to rest your Pokemon before you challenge the champion. Whoa! Now you're so nice to me, man. It's pretty weird. I, I don't know what what got into you, bro. But now you're just really nice to me. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> All right, but um, I think that's gonna be the end of this episode. Uh, on the next episode of Pokemon Soul Silver, we will rematch the Elite Four. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.